Interesting story, a man in Edmonton has been acquitted of assaulting a police officer after his successful self-defense argument on the right to be left alone. I'm going to preface this by saying, let's be very clear, the guy involved in this scenario was being a giant jackass. But the cop was arguably no better, if not worse. And while the judge did say that people in the community have the right to be protected, they also said that, you know, individuals in the community have the right to be left alone, and even to be left alone when they are clearly not on their best, albeit non-criminal behavior. Basically, the dude was having a bad day, he was yelling at somebody in the McDonald's drive-thru cop was actually asked to go over and talk to him, so he did. The dude's license plate was covered in snow, there were some other issues, so the cop was like, hey man, pull through and let's just chat. And the guy was like, yeah, no. Him and the cop started chatting, but then he walked into the McDonald's to confront the manager. The conversation he had was calm and peaceful, and he ended the conversation with a handshake with the manager. All good, right? Nope. The cop then tried to arrest him for obstruction of justice, so he complied and said he was going to get his license in his truck. Thank God for security footage because the cop decided to then tackle him to the ground. And the judge said that even if that movement qualified as resisting arrest, it was the least resistance. When the cop tackled him, he slipped on the ice and fell on top of him, and then the cop began to gouge his eyes out and punch him in the head. This is because he was scared that the man would flee. He was charged with resisting arrest and assault causing bodily harm. But he was able to argue that his Section 9 charter rights had been breached. It was arbitrary detention. He had technically done nothing illegal. He was just being a jackass. And there was no evidence that he was resisting until the cop tried to take him down. And just a friendly reminder that in Canada, you can flip off a cop, you can tell them to F off. It's not illegal. I don't think you should. It's probably not a great idea. Just because you probably shouldn't be doing that to people in general. And honestly, up until the part where he was trying to gouge the dude's eyes out, I don't really blame the cop in this scenario either. It was just a lot of people in a bad mood on a bad day. But in Canada, we do have the right to be left alone. Yeah, this was a weird one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.